Factors lab that was founded in New York City in 2005 at Hunter College, and it was a, a place for researchers, students, and staff, faculty to get together and really think about what it means to play critically. Currently, Tilt Factor does many, many things. Tilt Factor houses courses. Tilt Factor is home for visiting artists and guests. Uh, many, sometimes several courses come together for a Tilt Factor event or a think tank. We also have various kinds of research initiatives going forward, funded by the National Science Foundation, Microsoft, and other interested parties who want to fund the innovative kind of work that we do in terms of human values in game design, educational game design, social activist game design. So our specialty in games and new media uh, forms our little research hub at Tilt Factor and then that feeds out into the classes and curriculum as well. I think protecting and Scrabble together is already pretty hard. No, no, duty. So you have you have well, to. Well, th that you could. You have little creatures okay. on the board, and you have to like build like with the letters. You have to build forts around them. Um, That's so cool. And now it comes back to me. Mm -hmm. Tyranny. The player to your left may be a benevolent leader or a cruel tyrant. That player may immediately swap all game pieces as he or she wishes. No piece may move to an empty space. <laughs> That's me! Prophet Seed is a game that uh, allows players to play the wind and it explores uh, uh, actually legal issues about genetically modified food by looking at how seeds move around from place to place and how genetically modified seeds and even organic seeds are sometimes um, found in one particular place. Our layoff game actually brings a personal touch to something that might seem cold and impersonal. Workers uh, who have each individual bios to kind of personalize this experience of job loss and real news uh, clips in, embedded into the game to really bring to light that while, um, while decisions are being made about regular people, um, the flow of information and the, the, the dollar size is, uh, is really overwhelming. is a photography game that looks at how values manifest in everyday life and how they can be creatively depicted. Players will uh, draw a value and subject combination. Photopolis is intended to look at cultures and values and how they play out in different cities. Uh, to describe what the play cube looks like, um, it is a glowing, I think, 18-foot trailer. It'll be changing colors as different things in the Dartmouth environment affect what emotion the play cube is. So one day, maybe the play cube will be happy, or the next day, the play cube will be um, anxious. Um, we got to be 
people if what are the good things to avoid and then what are things we should probably do more and so they say like you know make sure you make games fun or avoid certain things and then we also ask them um, just how do people learn how do we make them interested in learning and motivate them